Stage one, you're trying to get some control. To come out of stage two and into stage three, you're giving up control and you're yielding to a power that's surrounding you that's bigger than your little perception. So you're surrendering to a good that is beyond your imagination. You're surrendering to a peace that is beyond what you've ever imagined before. You're letting go and letting love take over your life. Are you getting this? Yes? Okay. So in stage three, that's yielding. That's surrendering. That's visioning. We're going to do that in just a moment. To come out of stage three to go into stage four, you're little by little by little giving up a sense of separation from the presence. You can call the presence by any name you want. You can call the presence God. You can call the presence love. You can call the presence life, joy. But there comes a moment where the sense of separation between you and that presence is gone. And you realize that your life is an emanation of the presence. Separation is gone. So to come out of stage one, you're giving up blame, your blame story with forgiveness. Coming out of stage two, you're giving up control. Coming out of stage three, you're giving up separation little by little by little. And how does this happen? It happens with practice. Every single day, a little bit of practice, and you find that you're changing every single day. You look back at your life, a few months, six months, eight months, you look back and you see that that person is different. There's more life flowing through that individual. There's more love. There's more intelligence. There's more joy. There's greater possibility. There's greater optimism. There's greater hope. There's greater vision. Because you're participating in your own unfolding. You're not waiting for something to happen. You're doing it inside of your own awareness. You have the power. You have the intelligence. You have the tools. You have the willingness. You have the ability. You have the capacity. Are you getting this? Yes? Say, yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am able. Yes, I am willing. Yes, I am. Yes, I am able. Yes, I am willing. Let me hear your loudest shout about it. Scream about it. Come on. Celebrate about it right now. Yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Feel it, feel it in your bones. We're generating some tonic chemicals of the body temple. Your chemistry set of the body temple creates chemicals based on the thoughts that are moving through you. You don't have to wait for something out there to change. You do it right here. You got it? Okay. Everyone take a breath. Deep breath. Ah. ah. Now, stage two, visualization. Stage three, visioning. Visioning is not the same as visualization. Visualization is what we talked about in the secret. You describe it, you see it, you feel it, you write it, you read it, you say it, until manifestation happens, until the invisible becomes visible. Powerful stage. But then there's stage three. Stage three is visioning. Visioning is asking a series of questions. Pulling the potential from within you that you can't see. 
to come forward. Are you catching this? Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes? Give me a strong yes. Stronger? Yes. Stronger? Yes. Stronger. Yes. Okay. Because I'm, I'm planting seeds here that will grow later if you don't get it right now. So envisioning, we become aware that there's something so magnificent about us that it's beyond our imagination. In stage two, you're imagining it. But in stage three, you're inviting it. Stage two, you're making it happen with your mind. Stage three, you're making it welcome with your heart. It's a different vibration. And so... Here were the stages envisioning, and then we're going to do it. Is that okay with you? Yes? You want to do this? Trying to set you free here. <laughs> we're, going to, we're going to go into a state of meditation. We're going to surround ourselves with a field of love. And then we're going to ask a question of our higher self. We're going to ask the question... How does the higher self see our life? That's beyond what we can visualize. Something new is going to happen. And then we're going to ask the question, what is it that I must become in order for this vision to manifest? I'm going to break all of these down. And then we're going to ask, what gifts do we already have that can be in service to the vision. I'm going to break that down. And then we're going to ask, what is it that I need to let go of that no longer serves me so that the vision can manifest? And then we're going to move into a state of willingness and prayer. Are you up for this? Yes? Okay, before we do this, everyone stand up. Everyone stand up. Just move your body around a little bit. Give somebody a high five. <laughs> Say, wake up. Say, you're magnificent. So much power in you. And just, just jump up a little bit. Just get your body awake. You guys ready? You ready? Yeah. All right. Sit back down. I'm going to go really slow so that the interpreter can follow what I'm saying and what I'm teaching. Deep breath. Ah. Deep breath. Ah. Deep breath. Ah. Okay, now, there is a vision within you. There is a great destiny within you. This presence that is never in absence does not make mistakes, does not do do-overs, does not repeat itself. So everyone here is a unique expression of divinity, a unique expression of infinite potential. There are no throwbacks in the bunch. There's no mistakes. There are no accidents. Everyone here is an on purpose with a dynamic purpose. Regardless of what's happened in your life, there's something within you that wants to come forward and express itself fully and completely, and you're here to set it free. Yes? Yes. I'm starting, I'm starting to like your strong yeses. Give me one more. Yes. Yes, yes I am. Yes, I, yes, I can. 
Yes, I am willing. Yes, I am strong. Yes, I am powerful. Yes, I am magnificent. Does that translate? Magnificent? Yes, I am joy. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay, so here's the deal. There's something within you that's bigger than your imagination that wants to express in your life. We have to ask for it to come forward. And so close your eyes, put your hands on your lap, your palm facing upward as a sign of receptivity. Close your eyes. Once again, take a breath and release the sigh of ah. Ah. Yeah. And let yourself begin to relax. Imagine. Become very still, very quiet. Very still. Quiet, still, quiet, still, quiet. And imagine a moment in your life where you were surrounded by or had an encounter with unconditional love where you were loved and it wasn't based on anything you did or didn't do, someone just knew you to your core. Could have been a grandparent, friend, but you felt the love. I want you to feel that love right now. And with every breath that you take, there's an amplification of this loving presence. Now, if you can't remember such a time, imagine what that would feel like. What would unconditional love feel like? You're still, you're quiet, And we're developing this field of love. It's all in the room. It's surrounding you. It's operating through you. Now I want you to inhale. And when you hear the snap of my finger, you'll multiply the feeling of this love times 10. Breathe in. Magnify times 10, and breathe out. Ah. So the feeling tone of love is increasing. Let's magnify it times 50. I'm going to invite you to breathe in. Breathe in right now. When you hear the snap of my finger, multiply it times 50. So the tonal quality, the quality is love. Now, in this feeling tone of love, ask this question. Simply ask, what vision does the higher self have for my life? and begin to listen with the ear that is beyond the ear. Listen with your heart. What vision is trying to emerge in my life?
You're sitting in a field of love, your eyes are closed, you're still, you're silent, and you're inviting the higher self to describe your mission, your purpose, your vision. What's trying to occur in your life? Be very, very still. Very, very quiet. And ask the question. What is trying to emerge in my life? What gift is trying to be given? What is the vision for my life being held by my higher self, by the presence? And we just stay quiet and we just inwardly listen for a moment with our heart. Beyond the ears, beyond the eyes, we're listening with our entire being. Be as still and as quiet as you can and listen. This is called the life visioning process. There you go. Listen, eyes closed, still. As you're beginning to get a feeling of what's seeking to emerge, seeking to come out of you, beyond what you've imagined before, what gifts are trying to come out of you, what talents are trying to come out of you. You're listening and you're being taught by the higher self. Listen. Be still and listen. The presence is speaking, broadcasting eternally, and you're here to catch the broadcast. Now, as you're beginning to hear silently the next stage of your unfoldment, ask this question. What must I become in order to manifest this higher vision? What is my growing edge? Where must I grow? You're simultaneously listening for the vision, but you're asking this question, what must I become in order to manifest the vision? Where must I grow? Reflect on that. Without censorship or judgment, you're simply asking, where must I grow? What must I become? Ask it internally and listen. You are alone with your own higher self. Listen. What must I become? And so you're feeling into a transcendent vision of your life, not bound by circumstance or situations, becoming free. Gifts that 
need to be given, talents that need to be expressed. What is the vision? And what must you now become in order for that vision to manifest? Listen with your inner ear. One step further. What do I have already that can be in service to the vision? What resources do I already have? Normally, you may think of yourself as an individual that's lacking. I don't have any resources. But I want you to begin to think now, what resources do I have? What gifts do I have? What do I have? Talents and gifts that I can use in service to the higher vision that's trying to manifest in my life. And begin to just think about gifts, talents, things about you that you never thought were important but are very important. So that you're beginning to feel the awareness of having rather than lack. What gifts do you have to give, to share the unfolding vision? So one, we're being pulled by a higher vision that we're learning to articulate and describe. Two, we're asking ourselves, what must we become? What is our growing edge? Where must we grow to manifest this vision? And we're taking full responsibility. Three, what gifts do I have already that can be in service to this vision? And four, this is very important, listen to yourself. What no longer serves me that I'm willing to let go of now? Habits, conversations, priorities. What is it that no longer serves me? Remember, this is between you. This is you. This is not your friends and associates. This is a conversation with yourself. What is it that I can now let go of that no longer serves me? And you be honest with yourself. Listen without judgment or censorship what comes up. What can you now let go of? And finally, I want you to feel into the power of willingness. I want you to be willing to be captured by a vision. I want you to be willing to embrace the next stage of your unfolding and your becoming. I want you to be willing to embrace what you have within you and to love it. I want you to be willing to let go of anything that's no longer necessary. Where there is willfulness, there is a wall. Where there is willingness, there is a way. Feel into the willingness. And as we have amplified The feeling tone of love, we're going to amplify the feeling tone of willingness. Feel willingness being amplified with every breath that you take. You don't have to know how to do any of this, but you have to be willing. And then the universe will compel you into right action. The universe will open up doors. Ways will be made. If you're vibrationally in alignment with a sacred yes to the vision of your higher self that is trying to come through you now, feel into the willingness. And in this consciousness of willingness, seeing the vision, 
articulating the vision, you're learning to articulate the vision, I will evoke a presence. As I am standing here right now, your eyes are closed, you're receptive. I'm standing in the awareness of my oneness with all of the power, all of the presence, all of the love that there is, because all of the presence is everywhere. Therefore, it must be where we are. Therefore, it is from this awareness of sheer gratefulness of being alive, thankfulness for being awake. I embrace my oneness with this presence. I recognize this presence everywhere, and I evoke this presence in each and every individual here. This word is serving as a law of elimination to anything that would hinder, delay, obstruct, or deny the fullness of life from expressing through these men. And that every organ and action and function of their being is in alignment with the celestial power, power and fire of infinite potential that is seeking to express itself. Anything that would hinder this is dissolved now. And these men, everyone in this room, are being set free to express the high calling of a great potential being set free right now. I feel it in my bones. And I give thanks for it. And I know it is so. Therefore, I can say, and so it is. And so it is. So be it. Let me ask you to do this. Did you, how many people began to catch a certain vision for their life? Yeah? Just raise your hand. Did you catch a vision? You saw something? <clears throat> this is what I want you to do. Yes, you did? I want you to partner up for a moment. Just look at your neighbor and share any possibility that came forward from your higher self. Just, just look at each other and just share your vision. Go ahead. You can do it. It's at 4 o'clock. Just go one at a time and share your vision and share what you must become. Now, let me, let me share this with you. Did you catch anything in the vision process? Did you catch a possibility that's something that's trying to happen in your life? Did you begin to catch it? Just say yes or no. Yes? Yes? Yes. Beautiful. So what we did today is we planted some seeds so that throughout the course of the next few weeks, even when you're dreaming or sleeping, you're going to be getting messages from your higher self as to what's trying to happen in your life. You set something in motion. It doesn't just happen in this room. You set something in motion. In stage two, you visualized a better life. And in stage three, you began to open yourself up to something within you that's trying to come out. You do want to live a magnificent life, yes? Yes? You do feel it's possible, yes? And this is something that you desire to do. As Reverend Leon is starting to make his way up here, he's going to sing a song for us. But before you do that, you want to do one more quick, brief manifestation exercise. You want to be prosperous? You want to be happy? You want to do a quick exercise? Yes? Let me hear a strong yes. yes. All right. Stand up. Close your eyes. 
Think about something that you feel that you are lacking in your life or you have chronically lacked. Something you want but you don't have. You got it? Okay. Now th close your eyes and think about somebody who has what you want. They have it. They, they have happiness. They have joy. They have wellness. They have well-being. Think of, you see them? Now, if you can see that quality in another, that means you can only see it if it's in you. So the first thing that I want you to do is to inwardly celebrate what you see in another. That quality in the other person that you believe you're lacking, begin to celebrate it. Shout it out how happy you are that they're happy. Somebody scream about it. Set yourself free right now. You can shout. Do you know what that means? Let me hear you. Let me see you move a little bit. Just be, begin to celebrate somebody else's happiness. Can you do it? Okay, when I say one, two, three, when I say three, shout it out. Okay? One, two, three. Go. <laughs> okay, now turn in. Feel it in your, what you've just shouted out in another, feel it in yourself. Feel it in yourself. And say, yes, I am. Yes, I am able. Yes, I am willing. Somebody scream. <laughs> there it is. 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 I think I am through for the day. Peace and blessings. I want to call forth <laughs> Reverend Leon. And in the five minutes we have left, he's going to offer a bit of his gift, which is the gift of singing. Good afternoon. I want to do a song that was written by Reverend Michael, and it's called Love is All There Is. Let's take a breath. Wow, it's hot, it's hot on this stage, man. My wings were heavy. I could not fly. Haunted by dreams that were meant to come true. Love was there, but I could not see it. So the voice of salvation came shining through you. And you sang, love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. And you sang, and you sang, love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. In the sky of my mind was lightning and thunder. I never could trust it would finally be right. The truth in your eyes said, don't worry, don't wonder. You sang me a song that had shattered the lies. And you sang, love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. Love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. If your wings are heavy and you cannot fly, you're haunted by dreams that were meant to come true. Love is right there. You just have to see it. Let the voice of salvation come shining through you. And you sing, love is all there is. Love.
love is all there will ever be. Love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. One more time, real low. Love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. Love is all there is. Love is all there will ever be. Thank you so much. Peace and richest blessings to all of you. It is my joy to be here with you today. God bless you.